my champions indeed we are in a season of great great exposures we are so much uh, looking into issues that are happening uh concerning issues of corruption right inside zanu pf and it seems like uh, uh it does not rain for zanu pf it pours uh every left right and center you are finding that this information that is coming out of uh, many and many deals i know dirty scandals that are happening scandals of corruption of um, uh, financial embezzlement and quite a lot of other things that are being done right inside zanu pf right now we have a report of barbara rhodes and actually i'm nangagwa yet in another scandal in victoria falls where they want to be using state money to build a school for auxilium nangagwa and this is a private personal school from nangagwa, uh, from nangagwa but uh, it's now being uh, funded by the uh, taxpayers money in zimbabwe and we've seen quite a lot of things happening uh concerning uh, uh embezzlement of funds and uh, you know misuse of uh, the the ministry's funds with the Barbara Rhodes, especially uh, linked to uh, Auxilium Nangagwa. I, I must think that uh, Rhodes is operating under so much pressure from Auxilium Nangagwa because uh, it seems like she has found a loophole into the government coffers, into the government pockets through this uh, Barbara Rhodes. And whatever it is that um, an Auxilia is holding on uh, or, or, or using as uh, <laughs> some kind of, uh, a, you know, uh, a, a, a rope or maybe some 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 uh, bridles that she's using against Rodzi. we don't know what it is that Rodzi has really done but i i, I think we do suspect something because uh, there's quite a lot of information that involves barbara Rodzi and her being in some kind of relationship uh with him nangagwa and this could be maybe what uh, auxilia is using as leverage yeah i was looking for that word uh, leverage uh, whatever that uh, auxilium nangagwa has uh, or is leverage against uh, barbara Rhodes. so because of that um auxilia could be using that you know to push uh, to you know drag barbara Rhodes all over and cause her to do things to her own advantage so it's uh, a very sad development especially when we look at how much uh, the zimbabwean people continue to suffer and uh, these people are not concerned about anything in in fact they are busy even making themselves even richer by the day. Majara Jaro says, in another case of pure corruption through embezzlement, Barbara Rhodes wants to siphon public funds to build a gastronomy tourism school in Victoria Falls for Auxilia Mnangagwa. Barbara, who is Auxilia's sidekick, is being put at the front by corrupt misfits uh, to milk the government. So the Herald has also reported on this very issue where they said gastronomy tourism school to be built in Victoria Falls. Uh, the Herald has also reported that. So, meaning that this is a real issue. And uh, now, of course, with the propaganda now of ZANU-PF, when it is now reported by the, the Herald, it is just mentioned as a gastronomy uh, tourism school, as if it belongs to the government property that belongs to the Zimbabwean people. Yet, uh, it is actually a personal uh, property that is being built uh, for Auxilium Nangagwa. Uh, so, this is what is happening. And it seems like... Um, we continue to see more and more there is another dirty deal again a very bad scandal that is involving the police and we are going to be talking about it in the coming show uh also with uh, quite a lot of gold 85 kgs of gold uh you know just imagine uh the, and uh, all of a sudden that gold was uh, stolen or moved from where it was supposed to be of course we are going to be let me not pre 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 preempt the, the issue we are going to be talking about it in depth uh, when we come to that show. But all that we are trying to point at here is the idea of the level of corruption, the level of debt, the level of uh, dishonesty that the people that are calling themselves leaders in Zimbabwe uh, 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 have. And uh, that is a very big disturbance because uh, the country is failing to rise. The economy is failing to rise. The ZIG uh, that they've introduced is failing to rise. And we all even heard Mnangagwa begin now to speak about wanting the ZIG to operate on its own uh, let him try it <laughs> let him dare try to do that and that is going to be that the end of that zig that zig will not you know it will, it will not survive at all right now it's being cushioned at least uh by the presence of the us dollar but in the event that uh Mnangagwa would want to be excited you know Mnangagwa gets excited when he sees people when people gather around him and he has to talk he gets so excited like a small little boy and then he starts to say things that uh, without even thinking without consultation without even uh, you know if, if, sitting down with the people that could be uh, uh, responsible or maybe you know the the, the 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 economists or people that are in the sector 
to find out whether this is the right time to be doing that. Nangagwa can announce things at a rally. And unfortunately, uh, the policymakers in Zimbabwe will quickly follow because of boot leaking. This is why we are saying dictators are poor leaders because they dictate things and then everyone else, because of fear of victimization, uh, they, they want to just quickly implement. And instead of coming out to say this does not work, they will just uh, follow suit and just continue to hero worship, seeing about whatever that the dictator has declared at a, at a rally uh, or in the public domain. So that is the problem that causes things to crumble right in our country. So we definitely need uh, new leaders. This is why we need to continue fighting as Zimbabwean people, gathering ourselves together and pushing to make sure that we bring in a new social order. We need a new social order, a new political order, a new religious order in Zimbabwe and get rid of these people that are filthy. We have filthy, filthy people in Zimbabwe in, uh, in, uh, in, in social circles, in religious circles, as well as in political circles. We want that to be cleansed and then we can begin to see our country beginning to work once again. Of course, Zimbabwe is never going to cover. Zimbabwe is never going to rise. Zimbabwe will continue to be the laughing stock of the world until we have people that have totally different, a totally different mindset uh, uh, to what we are seeing today happening. Because nobody is involved, I mean, is interested in finding out what the masses of Zimbabwe want. What are the problems facing the people of Zimbabwe? Nobody has any time to listen to that. Everyone enters an office, wants to use the, 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 you know, the privilege of that office just to enrich themselves, and they continue to loot the country dry, look, milk the country dry, taking every coffer, everything in the coffers of government, and uh, you know, siphoning it towards things that are personal, that are never going to be benefiting the Zimbabwean people at the end of the day. So pressure needs to continue to be mounted on Mnangagwa, ZANU-PF, and all their cohorts to make sure that we push these guys out. This is the right time. This is the right season for change. And we must, as Zimbabwean people, get to a point where we say enough is enough. Mnangagwa and his family and his Mafid dynasty have stolen enough from us as a people. And this is the time that we really need to uh, take back what belongs to us. And then we give this country to a leadership that will make the country work once again. Zimbabwe is a great country. Zimbabwe is a jewel of Africa. But unfortunately, what it lacks is it does not have leaders. Zimbabwe does not have leaders. We have thieves, we have a mafia, we have murderers, we have bandits, we have uh, people that are supposed to be uh, locked in prisons who are running a government today. But one day is one day, the, as we continue to put more pressure, we are seeing already ZANPF is in shekels, ZANPF is crumbling, ZANPF is bound, and ZANPF is never going to survive this. Let's go to, keep, keep on putting pressure as citizens, and for those that are praying for the nation, let's continue to pray for God's intervention. Something is going to give, freedom is going to come. Thank you so much for joining me on this show. Let us meet in the upcoming show.